Welcome to this special update on the recent BRICS Summit. Today, we're diving into the highlights of a powerful speech delivered by China's President Xi Jinping, where he emphasized the need for unity, innovation, and sustainable growth in the face of global challenges. President Xi called for stronger global cooperation, urging BRICS nations to stand in solidarity. He underscored the importance of peace initiatives, specifically addressing crises in Ukraine and Gaza, to foster a more stable world. He also introduced exciting plans for technological innovation within the BRICS nations, especially in areas like artificial intelligence and digital partnerships to keep pace with global advancements. Xi stressed the importance of green development, calling for sustainable practices and clean energy collaborations that align with our global environmental goals. At the heart of his message was also a push for reform in global governance. Xi emphasized creating a fairer, more inclusive system that better serves the interests of BRICS countries and the Global South. President Xi further highlighted cultural exchange as a vital step towards enhancing mutual understanding, advocating for more people-to-people -people connections across civilizations. On the financial front, Xi discussed a bold step towards financial independence, reducing reliance on the US dollar by promoting local currencies and exploring alternative economic frameworks. To summarize, Xi Jinping's speech at the BRICS summit called for strengthened unity among BRICS members. He emphasized peace, technological progress, sustainability, fair governance, cultural diplomacy, and economic independence. In just a moment, we'll play the full video of this impactful meeting. Stay tuned as we hear directly from President Xi and witness his vision for a collaborative, innovative and more balanced world order through BRICS. Your Excellency, President Vladimir Putin, colleagues, First of all, I wish to extend my warm congratulations on the successful opening of this summit. I also wish to thank President Putin and our host, Russia, for the thoughtful arrangements and warm hospitality. I am confident that, through our concerted efforts, this summit will not only illuminate the path for cooperation within the expanded BRICS, but also mark the beginning of a new chapter in solidarity and cooperation of the Global South. As the world enters a new period defined by turbulence and transformation, we are confronted with pivotal choices that will shape our future. Should we allow the world to descend into the abyss of disorder and chaos, or should we strive to steer it back on the path of peace and development? This reminds me of a novel by Nikolai Chernyshevsky entitled What is to be done? The protagonist's unwavering determination and passionate drive are exactly the kind of willpower we need today. The more tumultuous our times become, the more we must stand firm at the forefront, exhibiting tenacity, demonstrating the audacity to pioneer, and displaying the wisdom to adapt, to jointly open up a new chapter for the high-quality development of the Greater BRICS cooperation. We should build a BRICS committed to peace, and we must all act as defenders of common security. We humans are an indivisible community of security. Only by embracing the vision of common, comprehensive, cooperative and sustainable security can we pave the way for universal security. The Ukraine crisis still persists. In China and Brazil, in collaboration with other countries from the Global South, initiated a group of friends for peace to address the crisis. The aim is to gather more voices advocating peace. We must uphold the three key principles, namely no expansion of the battlefields, no escalation of hostilities, and no fanning flames, and strive for swift de-escalation of the situation.
While the humanitarian situation in Gaza continues to deteriorate, the flames of war have once again been weakened in Lebanon, and conflicts are escalating among the parties. We must promote an immediate ceasefire and an end to the killing. We must make unremitting efforts toward a comprehensive, just and lasting resolution of the Palestinian question. We should build a BRICS committed to innovation, and we must all act as pioneers of high-quality development. As the latest round of technological revolution and industrial transformation is advancing at an accelerated speed, we must keep pace with the times and foster new quality productive forces. China has recently launched a China BRICS Artificial Intelligence Development and Cooperation Center. We are ready to deepen cooperation on innovation with all BRICS countries to unleash the dividends of AI development. China will establish a BRICS Deep Sea Resources International Research Center. A China Center for Cooperation on Development of Special Economic Zones in BRICS Countries. A China Center for BRICS Industrial Competencies. And a BRICS Digital Ecosystem Cooperation Network. We welcome active participation from all the interested parties to promote the high-quality upgrading of BRICS cooperation. We should build a BRICS committed to green development, and we all must we must all act as promoters of sustainable development. Green is the defining color of our times. It is important that all BRICS countries proactively embrace the global trend of green and low-carbon transformation. China's high-quality production capacity as exemplified by its manufacturing of electric vehicles, lithium batteries and uh, PV products, provides a significant boost to global green development. China is willing to leverage its strength to expand cooperation with BRICS countries in green industries, clean energy and green mining and promote green development through the entire industrial chain so as to increase the green quotient of our cooperation and upgrade the quality of our development. We should build a BRICS committed to justice, and we must all act as forerunners in reforming global governance. The international power dynamics is undergoing profound changes, but global governance reform has lagged behind for a long time. We should champion true multilateralism, and adhere to the vision of global governance characterized by extensive consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits. We must ensure that global governance reform is guided by the principles of fairness, justice, openness, and inclusiveness, and increase the representation and voice of Global South countries. The current developments make the reform of the international financial architecture all the more pressing. BRICS countries should play a leading role in the reform. We should deepen fiscal and financial cooperation, promote the connectivity of our financial infrastructure, and apply high standards of financial security. The new development bank should be expanded and strengthened. We must ensure that the international financial system more effectively reflects the changes in the global economic landscape. We should build the BRICS committed to closer people-to-people -to -people exchanges, and we must all act as advocates for harmonious coexistence among all civilizations. BRICS countries boast a profound and illustri illustrious historical and cultural heritage. It is important that we promote the spirit of inclusiveness and harmonious coexistence among civilizations. 
We should enhance the exchange of governance experiences among various countries and fully harness the untapped potential for cooperation in areas such as education, sports, and the arts, so that our diverse cultures can inspire one another and illuminate the path forward for BRICS. Last year, I proposed an initiative for BRICS Digital Education Cooperation, and I'm delighted to see that it has become a reality. China will implement a capacity-building program for BRICS Digital Education. We will open 10 learning centers in BRICS countries in the next five years. And provide training opportunities for 1,000 local education administrators, teachers, and students. This will be a tangible step to deepen and strengthen people-to-people -people exchanges among BRICS countries. Colleagues, China is willing to work with all BRICS countries to open a new horizon in the high-quality development of greater BRICS cooperation. And build a community with a shared future for mankind together. Thank you. We should promote early de escalation to pave the way for political settlement. Last July, Palestinian factions reconciled with each other in Beijing. Marking a key step towards peace in the Middle East. We should continue to promote comprehensive ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and revive the two state solution. We must stop the flames of war from spreading in Lebanon and end the miserable sufferings in Palestine and Lebanon. We should reinvigorate development and strive for common prosperity. The global south emerges for development and prospers through development. We should make ourselves the main driving force for common development. We should play an active and leading role in the global economic governance reform and make development the core of international economic and trade agenda. Since its introduction three years ago, the Global Development Initiative has helped make available nearly 20 billion U.S. dollars of development funds and launched more than 1,100 projects. And recently, the Global Alliance on Artificial Intelligence for Industry and Manufacturing Center of Excellence has been established in Shanghai. China will also build a World Smart Customs Community Portal and the BRICS Customs Center of Excellence. We welcome active participation by all countries. We should promote together development of all civilizations and strive for harmony among them. Diversity of civilization is the innate quality of the world. We should be advocates for exchanges among civilizations. We should enhance communication and dialogue and support each other in taking the path to modernization suited to our respective national conditions. The Global Civilization Initiative I proposed is exactly for the purpose of building a garden of world civilizations in which we can share and admire the beauty of each civilization. China will coordinate with others to form a Global South Think Tank Alliance to promote people to people people exchanges and experience sharing in governance. Colleagues, the third plenary session of the 20th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China made strategic plans for further deepening reform to advance Chinese modernization. This will provide more opportunities for the world. Last month, 
We held in Beijing a successful summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation and announced 10 partnership actions for China and Africa to jointly advance modernization. This will instill new energy for the global south on its way toward modernization. No matter how the international landscape evolves, we in China will always keep the global south in our hearts and maintain our roots in the global south. We support more global south countries in joining the cause of BRICS as full members, partner countries, or in the BRICS Plus format so that we can combine the great strength of the global south to build together a community with a shared future for mankind. I thank President Putin for all the preparations for the summit.